Do you know what USDT and USDC are? They are rock stars of stability in the wild world of cryptocurrency. But what makes them tick? And how do they differ? And more importantly, which one should you choose for your crypto adventure? Hi there, I'm Eva, and in today's video we're diving deep into the world of stable coins. These are the cool kids of crypto designed to keep their cool when everything else is going crazy. Imagine a cryptocurrency that doesn't give you a heart attack every 5 minutes. That's a stable coin. We'll be zooming in on USDT and USDC, the big players in the stablecoin game. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one might be your best bet for making some serious crypto moves. So buckle up and let's get this crypto party started! Stablecoins are like Zen masters of the crypto world. While Bitcoin and its bodies are on a roller coaster, stablecoins are chilling, meditating, and staying as steady as a rock. How? They're tied to real world currencies like US dollar. So when one USDT or USDC says it worth one dollar, it means business, no matter what craziness is happening in the crypto markets. Let's say you've just sold your Bitcoin and you're looking for secure profits. The crypto market can be unpredictable, so what's your next move? This is where stable coins come in handy. You can exchange your profit from USDT to USDC, ensuring your funds maintain their value even if Bitcoin's price drops suddenly. Stable coins also excel at quick transfers between exchanges. Need to move funds from Barbie to Binance? Using a stablecoin like USDT is often the most efficient option. It's typically faster and more cost-effective than traditional bank transfers, and you don't have to worry about exchanges rate fluctuation eating into your funds. Stablecoins aren't just about playing it safe. They're the secret sauce in the recipe of crypto markets. These digital dollars are the lifeline of liquidity, allowing traders to buy and sell other cryptocurrencies without breaking a sweat over sudden price swings. But wait, there is more! Stablecoins are also the cool kids in the DeFi playground. That's a short for decentralized finance. A whole new world where you can potentially earn some serious crypto cash. Don't worry if it sounds confusing right now. We've got a video coming up that will break down DeFi for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stablecoins give you the best of both worlds. The excitement of digital assets with the comfort of stability. Whether you're looking to protect your investments, move money at lightning speed, or dip your toes into the DeFi world, stablecoins might just be your new best friend. Now let's talk about the stablecoin all-stars. The crypto market is teeming with these steady eddies, but not all of them were created equal. Here is a rundown of the top 10 stablecoins that are leading the pack in market cap and popularity. First one. Teza, or USDT, it's OG of stable coins. It's always aiming to stick close to that $1 mark and is a favorite for quick trades on crypto exchanges. Second one, USD coin, or USDC, the brainchild of Circle and Coinbase, known for being crystal clear about its finances, making it a trustworthy option for storing your digital dollars. The third one, DAI or DAI, the label of the branch. It's decentralized and doesn't answer to any big corporations. Instead, it's backed by other cryptocurrencies. Fourth, first digital USD, FDUSD, the new kit on the block that's turning heads with its seamless integration across digital platforms. Fifth, USDT. Tron's take on stable coins designed to play nice with decentralized finance apps. 6. PayPal USD PYUSD PayPal's fresh entry into the stablecoin world, promising speedy and secure transfers while staking close to the US dollar. 7. True USD or TUSD The transparent type is consistently checked and double-checked, making it a hit with the big money players. 8. Edelcoin or EDLC Europe's answer to the stablecoin craze patched to the euro for our friends across the pond. 9. 
Athena, USDE, a stablecoin that calls the Athena ecosystem home, also keeping things stable by sticking close to the dollar. Tense, Frax, the hybrid hero. It uses a mix of reserves and clever algorithms to keep its value steady, bringing some innovation to the stability game. And now let's zoom in on the big players in the stablecoin game, starting with the pioneer. USDT. After that, I'll explain the real difference between it and USDC. USDT or Tether is like the seasoned veteran of stable coins. Born in 2014, it entered the scene when crypto was still finding its footing. Picture this. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies were fluctuating widely, and along comes USDT, aiming to maintain a steady value of 1 US dollar. So how does USDT keep its stability? Well, it's based on a straightforward concept. For every USD token in circulation, there is supposed to be a real US dollar held in Tezos reserves. This system designed to give users confidence that they can always trade their USDT for an equivalent amount in dollars. But it hasn't always been smooth sailing for USDT. Let's address the main concern – transparency. There have been ongoing questions about whether Tether really has all those dollars they claim to have in reserve. It's a bit like a friend who always promises to pay you back but never quite gets around to it. The crypto community and regulators have been calling for more clarity on this matter, and the debate is still ongoing. Now USDT isn't just about question marks and debates. It's earned its place in the crypto world. Moreover, it's been around longer than most, which means it's built up a massive network of users and exchanges. When it comes to liquidity, that's how easily you can buy or sell without affecting the price. USDT often leads the pack. It's become a go-to option for many traders and investors. But here's the thing. That same popularity can be double-edged sport. Because so many people use USDT, any issues or debates surrounding it could potentially impact the entire crypto market. Let's shine the spotlight on USDC. Born in 2018, USDC is the brainchild of two crypto heavyweights, Circle and Coinbase. These folks had a vision – create a stable coin that is transparent as freshly cleaned window. Why? Well, they'd seen the raised eyebrows over USDT's cloudy reserve situation and thought, we can do better. USDC's mission? To be the golden child that both users and regulators could trust. Like USDT, each USDC is meant to be worth one US dollar. But here's where things get interesting. USDC is managed by something called the Center Consortium. Think of them as the strict parents who make sure USDC does its chores and eat its vegetables. This consortium isn't shy about showing its work. They regularly publish reports on USDC's reserves, kind of financial show and tell. But it doesn't stop there. These reports get their once over from independent auditors. It's like having a teacher check your homework before you turn it in. All this openness gives users a warm, fuzzy feeling that their USDC is backed by real dollars, not just promises. Now, this transparency first approach gives USDC some serious street cred. But as with anything in life, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. USDC's commitment to playing by the rules can sometimes slow it down in the fast-paced crypto world. But what's about liquidity? The lifeblood of crypto trading. USDT has been in the game longer and the boy does it show. We're talking about a stablecoin that accounts for a whopping 60% of all trading on crypto exchanges. That's like being the most popular kid in the school dance. Everyone wants to trade with USDT. But here's a plot twist. USDC, despite having less liquidity, has become the darling of big-time players like companies and investment funds. Why? It's all about transparency and playing by the rules. This just goes to show that picking your stablecoin is like choosing a superhero. It depends on your mission. Quick trades or long-term holding? The choice is yours. If you're all about that trust and transparency life, USDC might be your jam. USDT, on the other hand, 
has been a bit of a mystery box. They've been saying, trust us, we've got the goods. But until recently, they haven't exactly opened their books for everyone to see. This has caused quite a stir in the crypto community, with people debating harder than fans arguing over the best pizza toppings. But here's the kicker. Despite all the drama, USDT is still the king of the hill when it comes to trading volume. It's like that controversial celebrity everyone talks about, but still wants tickets to see. This tells us that for many users, convenience and accessibility trump transparency concerns. So, crypto fam, which side are you on? Team USDT or Team USDC? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, in the world of crypto, knowledge is your best friend. So keep learning, stay curious and always do your own research before making any decisions. Until next time, this is Eva, signing off.